extension per rack and the quarterfinals are a race to nine. England won the lag. Commentary comes from Jim Weich and Ted Lerner. Ball eight down. Into, eight into the corner. The one available. It's over the side pocket. I think Darren's going to have to play in the corner. These two play so well together. One watches the clock, the other eyes up the shot. Solid pot right there. Yeah, he actually caught it a bit thick though, Tad. You'd like that cue ball to have got a little closer to the center of the table. You can see that hit the cushion well up. Notice that, that some players having trouble when they get out here on the TV table here. Judging how the cushions are going to react. They have not had a chance to hit any balls on cold. this table today. The only time they get to play is as soon as the match starts. Before this, they're up in the practice room. Same diamond tables, but different situation. Well, that's a good shot from Carl. Very good shot. Both of our earlier winners today, Chinese Taipei and Japan, got off the mark very early and held those leads right through. England A know that. Winner of this match will play Chinese Taipei in the semifinals. And I promise you, neither side really care who opposes them. They just worry about their own games. Well, this is risky. Well, that can happen in pool. When you're moving balls around, that was fully intended to develop the six. So now, they'll have to play safe. And we'll get a chance to see the Romanians at the table. shot an available six this gentleman right here Babkin Malconen was uh, practically having a meltdown in the match versus Indonesia he admitted to me even before before this match that he was so nervous and just didn't feel good the whole day and could barely shoot was taking every shot down to the last few seconds on the shot clock but he says he feels a lot better today had a good night's sleep and that will go a long way right there to relaxing his nerves. That shot. I'll tell you who else's nerves that relaxes his partners. <laughs> Ioan Ladani on the seven. Nicely done. Babkin Malkonen takes two balls down. Gets the arm loose early. Romania on the board first. He broke from the other side of the table as well. 
Mm, they're going <laughs> to like that. Ball down, shot on the one. Two is open. Three's available. Well, the three is the problem ball, though. It is available, Ted. You're right, but to one pocket. So we'll see if they can get there. It looks like it's available to the right center. We'll see. All depends the angle he leaves himself on the two. Well, Jim, when you were an underdog in, in matches and your fellow players came up to you and and said, are oh, you never were an underdog? You mean like every match I play? Oh, every match. OK. <laughs> they said, hey, you're the underdog. Just take it easy. How hard is it to actually put that into action, to relax when you're playing on a match table like this in front of the cameras? When you're struggling, the last place you want to be is out there. But you just fight through it. You now, guaranteed, your confidence grows. This might be perfect. This might be absolutely perfect. Well, he's already come out here looking a lot sharper than he was against Indonesia. Yeah, this, this three doesn't go. He's just playing safe. Looking at it from the overhead camera. Just wasn't available. But you can see they're taking their chance as well. They're really keeping this vice grip on England. England A, and England A will be under pressure. If they go two, even three racks behind Romania, they'll start to Stand feel the cold. heat. And then they will have to throw the character we know they all have. Yeah, there is something to be said about battling through adversity and having a, a rough road on the way to the late stages of the tournament. It does build up character. England Day did struggle a bit against the Australians. They haven't had the toughest lineup to get to this point. Oh, that's... Oh, Starting to go against them now. Yeah, and that's the way pool can be. I mean, no one says things have to break even. And so far, Romania has really benefited from some poor breaks to the English side. In their match against uh, China, in which they pretty much routed the Chinese in uh, uh, really strong fashion, Romania was a real surprise. They weren't panicking at all. They were really calm and collected, didn't really do too much talking with each other. They really looked like they knew their way around the table. So they can do it. They're showing it here early. Well, you want to leave a little angle on this seven. Get the cue ball over on the right-hand side. And this has actually worked out well. He can get the cue ball on the right-hand side. His left-handed partner will be able to swing that white all around the angles and back down for the nine bottom left. So being left-handed even certainly works in their, in their favor. Well, that's perfect. Perfect. What a dream start for Romania here. There it is. Darren Appleton scratches on the three, and Romania steps up for the second straight rack 
and now leads two to nil. Welcome back to London in the third quarter final from this year's World Cup of Pool. Romania currently lead the defending champions England A 2-0. A miss on the one ball by Romania opened the table to England A, but it needed a safety from Darren Appleton after some poor positional play by Carl Boys to eventually give England their first rack. We rejoin the action at the start of the fourth. So Darren Appleton tears up the rack. That'll do. Yeah, they've got a ball down, shot on the one, shot on the two. This is just the kind of opening they needed. It's been a bit testy for England A here, not the kind of start they really had hoped for. But they stuck to their guns. Didn't panic. Well, you never have it all your own way in pool, very rarely. So these guys know there's going to be rough patches, whether at the beginning, the middle, near the end. It happens all the time. Extension call. It was always going to be tough to try and hold for the two. Well, it's a very thin cut if he wants to try and take it on. Certainly has an easy safety behind the five. Looks like uh, Darren brought his own rest. Yeah, he's going for the safety option. Just snuggle that cue ball up behind the five. Wow, how do you get out of that? Extension call. Yes, just a little more time required here. Babkin Melkonian. Well, he and I have something else in common, Ted, apart from both being left handed. We both feel like chocolate. He's got chocolate listed as his favorite food. I know about you and chocolate, Jim. I knew I liked him for a reason. You still might get it. Wow, what a roll. No smile. You're allowed to smile when that happens. <laughs> he is an intense player, really is. But he's having, a, a, I think, a much better time tonight than he was against Indonesia, where he just could barely hold the stick and looked like the pool table was the last place he wanted to be. So a safety from boys. Now yeah, this one won't be nearly as tough as the one his countrymen just escaped from. I think he's going to, yep, he left that on. It rushed, but he didn't have an extension. It was used by his partner. You only get one extension per rack. Mm. 
Very accurate cueing. Huh? Darren Appleton's trademark. His fundamentals are so sound. And what a partner he is for Carl Boys. Just at the last second. to hit it before that fifth beep. But doesn't matter if you have the cue pulled back and you are about to hit the ball. Referee Nigel Reese will call the foul. No ifs, ands, or buts. Here's the shot from the five. Back down table for the six. So it'll take a lot of power. You'll draw into that left-hand cushion and load the cue ball up with tons of left-hand spin. You heard Appleton say it's going to be a big shot. Look out. Lucky. Lucky there to have avoided that side pocket. This nine right here to tie. And as you said earlier, Jim, you're not sure if Romania wants to match wits with Team England. They lost the safety battle in that rack. Nice break. He's got the one ball down. that two to move over. Not sure if it passes. Oh, it doesn't look like it does. And it goes in the middle pocket. Position to the three is the major concern here. He's playing it in the side. Well, this might be a bank. Dead on bank. Hold for position to the four. Darren wants him to try and cut it in the side pocket and swing the cue ball all around the angles. Extension cold. So they go for the safety option. Yeah, a little surprised there, actually. Didn't look like it was that tough of a bank to straighten up. Just played the cue ball with a little left-hand spin. Yeah, and a lot of players would have taken the aggressive path there. But you never know exactly how a player is feeling at a moment in time. And you know what? They've just regained the momentum back from Spencing Romania. Cold. I like your call, too. And I think we should keep referring back to that. I think they're very confident in their ability to outwit the Romanians. So why not play safe? 
Now, if you were the Chinese Taipei players, they'd go off it, you know, total offense all the time. Yeah, another clear example of a bank possible. Well, I say that maybe the six takes the bank away into the side. This is close. Nice containing shot from Darren Appleton there. How'd you like to match which with Darren Appleton? Well, he's got the jump stick out. I think he just... Jim, why would you say he's going for this jump? He could kick at it. He's not trying to hit the nine, is he? I mean, you have... He's very lucky there. I mean, you have... How shot? Wow. Go in hand. He left the butt of his cue on the table, and the three hit it, and that's a foul. What an error happy? that is. Are you sure the three hit it, Ted? But he's left it on the table for sure. It's there on the table. Oh, How shot? wow. Go in hand. What a careless mistake. You and know, it, yeah. it was safe. And to give ball in hand. Well, back to the present. That was a horrible shot from Carl Boys. <laughs> we're still uh, we're still wondering about leaving the butt of his cue on the table. I don't think I've ever seen that. We left Darren where Darren had to make a real good recovery on the four. You know, Jim, the question is, is it a foul to leave the butt on the cue uh, of the cue on the table in and of itself? Or Ted, you know, that, that's a good question. I thought it was a foul even to leave the, the cue, any piece of your cue on the table. The fact that the three hit it, obviously, that makes it a certainty, but it might even be a foul just leaving the... Either way, the beneficiary of this particular lapse, England A. And for the first time in the match, they're going to be in front. It's a 3-2 lead. Romania left out to a 2-0 advantage, only to be pegged back. And then a mental mistake from Ion Ladanyi. Right here, watch it. The three just touching his jump cue butt. Okay, referee Brendan Moore has just informed us that it is not a foul to leave the equipment on the table like that, but it is a foul, of course, when the ball strikes the equipment, which is laying on the table. And right there, when the three ball hits the butt of the cue, which is laying on the table carelessly, that's the foul. Rack number six, 3-2 now to England A. Well, look at this. What a break shot. The cue ball in the center of the table. The one down. Yeah, the balls will remember Team Romania. That is a just a huge error on their part. And I think England A ready to pounce, but they're looking at that four ball. Does it pass? Where does it go? Well, I think it does. And there you can see. Barely. Yeah, barely is right. Got the five in the same half of the table, so if he can just feather this in, 
cue ball will float back out for the five to the same pocket. It's close though, Ted, not nearly cold. as much room as it looked. Yeah, they're not sure. Hit that nicely. Good shot. When you make a uh, careless error like Romania did, things tend to go against you, especially when you're playing England A. And they come right back, Jim, with it. This is going to be a break and run, 4 2 lead. Yeah, effectively, that mistake's cost them two racks and counting. It was 2 2, and they had a safety. Cost them that rack and the next. Romania definitely was something to think about as England has just won the last four racks in a row. 4-2 in the race to nine. Welcome back to London, where it's the quarter-final stage of this year's World Cup of Pool. After losing the first two racks, England A now lead Romania 4-2. A dry break from England saw Romania run out the colours and reduce the gap to one. A foul shot by Romania, which saw three balls pocketed, was ruthlessly punished by England who re-established a two-rack lead. A dry break by England, followed by a foul on the one ball, presented Romania the chance to narrow the gap, but a miss on the two gave England another rack. They now lead 6-3. We rejoin play for the start of rack 10. Commentary from Jim Weich and Ted Lerner. Three ball down, one ball down. Shot on the two. Close, very close. And even if it is on, I don't know whether he can avoid contacting the five up near the top left corner to get the cue ball all the way back down for the four. Well, if he gets this and misses the five, it'll be some effort. Certainly not easy. And he hasn't left anything easy for Melconian either. Well, he is absolutely disgusted with himself. And uh, he may be at the point of no return in the frustration department because 
And we saw what happened to him against uh, Indonesia when he lost his composure. He just he went south from the beginning. So they can't afford to get to lose it mentally right now. They're down 6-3 in a race to nine. They're about to go down 7-3. They got to stay in the game. Should be okay. Spin this in. Just needs to miss that seven on the right hand side. That is good. That's the perfect angle for Darren Appleton to drop onto that seven. Pretty simple equation. You play a team like England A, the defending champions. You gotta play pretty close to perfect. And Romania has been far from that. You were out to a 2 0 lead. And from there on in, it's been all England A. this nine Jim and he will we can start to look at the possibility of what's coming up between for England day uh, perhaps a match with uh, Chinese Taipei if they get two more he's got the one ball down Just at the last second, the three appears to have, I don't know. Yeah, nothing easy on this two. Well, we'll hold off on talking about a possible matchup, uh, you know, when they win Chinese Taipei because uh, maybe to the next rack, they get to eight. I'm just excited about that, Jim. I think that's going to be, uh, it's got everything, every fan and pool could ever want in a matchup. Two passes here. Don't think so. That camera angle pretty much tells us it doesn't go. Extension cold. Doesn't appear that it goes because we're having a discussion about possible safety. Nice shot. Very nice shot. Jump cue coming out for England. Carl Boys is looking straight up. He had his head back. He's still looking straight Thanks up at the ceiling. Cold. 
sure what he's looking at. He's taking a nap. That is on. There you go. The two appears in that alley. And you knew it when he hit it. That was not going to go. Well, all of a sudden, it's shades of yesterday. Abkin Melkonian, if he starts questioning himself, as was the case yesterday, yeah, you really can't see any way for Romania back into this. We have to go back to rack number five. It was tied at two. Romania. Laid what appeared to be a very good safety on England. But Yoan Ladani left his cue. The butt of his cue on the table, unbeknownst to him. And the red three hit the butt of the cue. And that's a foul from there on in. It's been all England. Nice shot from Appleton there. Change the cues. <laughs> I don't know whether the tips come off. You know, Jim, uh, both of these players came into this tournament lacking in confidence, feeling that they weren't playing that well. Both uh, did not do particularly well at the uh, World Nine Ball Championship, Doha. And one of the things that they were talking about doing was uh, putting this extension on the back of their cue. It's something that Shane Van Boning's been doing lately. What do you make of that? They said it, it offers a, a different feel, a little more balance. It... Well, I don't know what I make of it, but all of a sudden now they're not changing cues again. So I have no idea why they were doing it in the first place. You know, one thing I want to find out. <laughs> They arrived at the hill. England A, 8-3. Up on Romania. Doesn't matter what cue they're using. They have this match by the scruff of the neck. Welcome back to the 2015 Daffabet World Cup of Pool, where England A need just one rack for victory and a place in the last four. Look at the nine. It Almost. was tracking. It was tracking towards that side. But it's a dry break. So Team Romania, who has all but disappeared in the last 25 minutes from this match, will have a chance. Yoan Ladani. Oh, I got it now. They're looking up at the screens, the TV screens. Both Darren Appleton and Carl Boys keep looking up. They're looking up at the monitors, which are around the arena. Okay. Nice safety from Ladani.
Yeah, not the easiest escape either. Extension cold. Over from the side cushion. Tough to negotiate. When balls are in the middle of the table like this, it's they're just not that easy to hit, not even off one cushion. And even tougher to get safe when you do hit them. Unless you get lucky. That was the case here. Yeah, not too bad. past the two or into the no we'll go into the side pocket and I just overhit it focus so much on potting the one that kind of let the cue ball go This looks good. This looks really good. That looks like jail. And that three on the right hand side takes away the easy escape path. Extension cold. So this is not going to be that easy to hit. Gonna have to manufacture an angle here. Never going to hit it going that way. So they leave ball Ball's in up. hand on the foul oh. shot. And England A just needs this one rack to move into the semifinals. Pretty straight, just follow through for the five, six, seven. Everything is there for the taking. I think now we can uh, talk about England Day versus Chinese Taipei in our semifinal. That's got everything you could ever want. Yeah, I think that's pretty safe now. We can start thinking about that, Ted. Chinese Taipei with the world champion Ko Pin Yi. They play a lot of those daring shots, very offensive minded. 
against the fundamentally sound defending champions. And they're playing on their home turf here at York Hall in uh, East London. So Chinese Taipei, you know, they made the semifinals, I think, what is it, four years in a row. If they want to be the best, they have to beat the best. This nine ball will seal the deal. Indeed, it does go down. Darren Appleton and Carl Boys. Well done, England A. They defeat Romania nine to three. And they move into the semifinals here at the Daffa Bet World Cup of Bull.